Hi, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on this Fiesta today. So yeah, today guys, we're gonna be working on this boot and we're gonna be pushing that out and trying to straighten this out. I don't know where Ari's gonna go, but let's, yeah, let's just get into it and let's, uh, let's see um, how well we can get this done. Um, I just don't know how it's gonna go. I've never done this before. I've never done this in, in, in I try and stay away from the, um, the rear damage cars uh, anyway, I've always have done. So, and uh, you know, it, it, it's just, uh, I don't know. I just, I've never never done it before, guys. So I don't know what's gonna happen. But yeah, we'll get into it and let's uh, let's see if we can do it. But I need, yeah, I wanna get this straight and as, you know, as best we can today and uh, really have a play with it. So there's gonna be time lapses, gonna come in and out. I'm gonna show you time lapses where it's, it's, it's moving in and out and, and, and you know, I'm messing about with it and stuff. So. Yeah, um, but before we do, guys, I really appreciate all the support on the channel. Uh, don't forget to give the videos a thumbs up. It really does help the channel and uh, really does help me uh, go, you know, push up and go along. So, yeah, let's, um, let's do this, guys. Let's do it. Right, okay, just a quick recap from, what, um, from the previous video. You saw this on the previous video, but I just want to show you the setup, what I've done as, as well. So basically I've got a, a piece of lump of timber and it's quite thick, heavy, heavy duty timber. And I've cut it to the um, the, uh, the roundness of this tub um, so that it, when I'm pushing, it's pushing against two sides. Um, and I'm gonna start pushing it out. I'm gonna sort of set you up um, down here, I think, on the side. So you can see this sort of come, you know, moving in and out. And I'll come back and forwards and we'll, and we'll see what we can do guys. But uh, yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll set you up, and uh, it's, I think this is going to be the only little messing around thing is this here. This piece here, I've got to try and sort of straighten up a little bit. So let's see how we go. I've got to go and get a crash bar as well um, at some point today, and I'll go and do that. Um, and, and then, yeah, so just so that I make, you know, I can make sure that it lines up properly on the actual fixings and stuff. So. Yeah, that's important as well. So, right, let me set you up, guys, and we'll start. I'll start pushing this out. Okay, guys, just a quick update. As you can see, I don't know if you just slightly saw there, but I was just trying to sort of, you know, work it out, manipulate it, and sort of play around with it. There's still a little bit of, there is still a little bit of uh, messing about to do. Just, I just want to try and get it as uh, as best I can. But good news because the actual uh, bonnet, uh, the actual bonnet, the actual uh, tailgate. Unlocks and locks. So, yeah, it's it's okay, but it you know it, it shuts really really nice to be honest with you. But I still think that this needs a little bit of messing around with, like this you know straighten this up a little bit. This this lip here, this has got to be all, all straight across um, and pointing a little bit upwards. I believe I've, I'm checking the other one um, on the other boot, and I'm just trying to compare it. Uh, so, yeah, that's 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 flat. That's flat. 
and basically that lock had sort of pulled up a little bit. So all I did was sort of push it back down. Um, and I, as I said, I, I, there is a, there is some still movement there. I want to sort of get it down a little bit more, especially this side. I don't know if you can see that uh, this side, this side on the bolt is a little bit higher than this side. It's going up at an angle slightly there. So this side definitely needs more. But um, yeah. I'll uh, I'll stick you back on time lapse, guys, and we'll 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 get stuck into it, yeah. Right, okay guys, so yeah, I think I've got it to a point. Um, you know, I'm not 100% happy, but it's the, I think it's the best thing I'm gonna do because I'll tell you why. Um, the lock lines up, the boot lines up, the tailgate when you shut in, all that sort of stuff, you know, it's all pretty, pretty good. I've tested to see where it lines through and stuff. Um, this point here, it, it, it is a, it is a good angle. Uh, the trouble is, is that it's double skimmed. So you've got a skin on the inside, skin on the outside. And what's happened is obviously the outside is pushed in a little bit. So I can't get to that, uh, this skin because of the inside skin. The only way I do it is to, is to put on the sink on the back, pull it out, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I still might have to mess around with this a little bit, but, uh, it's much better than what it was. It is absolutely much better than what it was. The actual tub at the bottom is back in its original position as well. I've, I've checked, I've been going backs and forwards to the other car and uh, checking to make sure each each point is in, in the right position. And it is looking um, really good in here now. Uh, I think you can see it on there. So the actual tub, yeah, is looking really, really good in here. So yeah, so the only thing I'm not sort of happy with is obviously the, you know, there's a, Oh, let me try and get in there and show you. So this this pipe point here where the lock is, at the back here, there's like a little bit here along, and it's creased in a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but again, that's double skimmed, so I can't get to that point um, to, to, to actually get it, get, get it knocked out. Uh, yeah. So there is a couple of bits still left on the car, really, that needs to be... Uh, you know, looked at, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know whether I, 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 I want to leave it like that, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I need to, yeah, I do need to mess around with that more, I think. But I think the best thing to do, let me go and get the crash, uh, the rear crash bar. I'll go and get that. I'll come back. We'll, we'll see if that fits and put that on. i also got to get a light as well for the rear, because... It's uh, it's all cracked in the corner here, and it's all like cracked away. I don't really want to leave that like that, so that's got to be changed. So whilst I've gone, I've got to go to Gala over in Benfleet and uh, pick up some pick up some parts. So I'll grab a light one on there. I'll grab the crash bar. I'll come back. We'll put the crash bar on. We'll line it through and see what it's like. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit, guys. So I'm back from Gala. The breakers. And got ourselves a crash bar and the light. You can see over there, it's the light. So we'll change that over, swap that over. Uh, also got a couple of bits as well, else over there as well. Um, I've got the glass for the other Fiesta. Two side glasses. Uh, we'll also get, oh, I've got the slam panel and the rad pack for this one as well. So, so I've got that as well. Uh, what else did I get over there? Um... Something else. <laughs> I've been remembering it. I've been Euro car parts. I've been everywhere. So, so yeah. So let me um, let me set you up, guys. We'll put this crash bar back on. Uh, we'll see what it lines up like, and then do it back up. Put change that light, 
Um, and then, yeah, we'll have a look at the, the back of it and see what, see what it's looking like. So I'll set you up, guys. So there we go guys, the back end is done. Waiting for the bumper and then it'll be complete. But from my point of view at the moment, from what I've done, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm well happy with it, right chuffed. It's come out really well. No mess about with the actual brackets on, on the actual crush bar, just went straight on, well, no problem at all. Um, and yeah, finished it all off, put all the stuff back and it's, 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 it's pretty much spot on, apart from obviously a little bit here at the back here, um, which is a little bit dented in, but like I said, because it's two skins, it's one skin on the outside and one skin on the inside, you know, without getting sort of like, a, a, like a pull hammer, slide hammer, or some sort of device to pull that about, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to leave that as it is, but, it's a lot it's a lot better i've got it out i've got the tub out as well at the bottom that's all in the in the correct position now um i've been checking the the, the, the cart then you know the other fiesta i've been going back and forth just checking like i said before but it's uh yeah it's uh it's uh, really good it shuts it locks really really well the gaps are spot on the beside the, you know each side on the lights they're absolutely the same spot on and um yeah, yeah, that is that is it. Job done on this for the moment until I get the bumper. So, I think what I'll do now is I'll push a push the car back, and then we'll start doing some work on the front, and then yeah, we'll spend a bit of time on that. Let's see what we can do on that, guys. Yeah, All right, be back soon. So, guys, yeah, we're going to start work on this car on this front end now. Uh, all the service parts, um, and it's a lot easier to do all these bits when, when the front end is off. It really, really is. So it's a no brainer to get this to get this all done. I'm gonna do the thermostat, which is here, the new one's here. And the thermostat um, gasket that goes around the housing. I'm gonna change that as well. Do the oil filter, which is here. So we'll swap that over as well. I'll get it out and show you, it's a new one. It's a new one, guys. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna do that. So the thermostat housing is right in there and you can see those bolts just there. There's eight mil um, bolts to take out. There's four of them. There's two there you can see. Then two there. And then there's two, well there's one up there and there's one at the bottom. So we'll get them off. We'll change that first. Then we'll do the uh, oil filter. Let's get that changed. Um, I was going to do the belts, you know, but then I, I was looking at them and I was thinking, let's have a look, see what they're like. And actually, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can see. That 
that water pump in there is new. Those bolts are new and the actual water pump, it looks absolutely brand new. So this is, this is, this is how a cam belt done. No, I don't know. We don't know if, you know how, when it's been done, but it's been done. It, it, it must have been done because that, that water pump, it looks new. So, and the, and the auxiliary belt it looks fine. There's no ridges in it. There's no breaks in it. There's, there's nothing at all. So, yeah, so there's no real reason to change those belts and change getting into all that if, if that's uh, an indication that it's already been done, guys. So I'm going to leave the belts and get on with the rest of the, mate, the other service of it, though. I will do the rest. Um, so, yeah. Right, let's get on with the um, thermostat first. And then we'll work on the oil filter, yeah? So guys, there you saw. Thermostat is done, oil, filter is done, and I filled it up with oil, and it's a good point now. Um, I might have to top the oil back up when it when it on the level, uh, you know, once it's once it's been running for a little while. But I don't want to run it for a little while now because obviously there's no there's no coolant going through the system or anything, but I do think I'm at a point now where I can try and start the car, the engine. Let's try and start it. So I'll just quickly whip these uh, connections back on to the battery. Like that. And that should give us enough now to start it. It ain't gonna like it because there's too many pipes off and it's, it, there's a lot going on, but I think it's worth just giving it a, giving it a shot, yeah? It's in neutral, so that's good. Leave it like that. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> they don't like it, guys. Does not like it. <sighs> okay, let me do a bit more investigating. It might be the starter motor. Um, I don't know. Let me do the battery up tight, and I'll come back to you in a second. Right. Okay, guys. Just a quick <laughs> update from the previous part that I just did. Um, so the battery was low, it was really low, so I swapped it out for another one. I've got a spare full battery, so I swapped that out. That's fully charged. I've put this back on as well. This is the old cooler for the oil because it was just, oil was just going everywhere. So I thought, let's just connect that back up um, whilst we just do the run quick test. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, see what it runs like. It ain't gonna run nice, it ain't gonna run rough. It's gonna run really rough because all the air pipes are off, all the things are off, but um, 
did manage to get it started. She, she ain't happy, I tell you. So it runs, but she ain't happy. She don't like it. And that's just because I think that there's all this pipes off. There was all this, you know, air pipe, uh, air suction, uh, all that. It's, uh, it's, it's all in pieces, isn't it? So I think, as, you know, it is running. The engine is running, so that's good. Um, and then, you know what I mean? I just want to put it all back together now and then just let just take it for a good run and you know just have a good old good old blast on it and then may, maybe do an engine flush actually might even do that so i might get some additive stuff that you put inside add, add to the oil flush it all through let it run for a little while drain the oil back out and then refill it with some fresh oil uh, maybe do that i'll have to look into to, to what i'm going to do with it yeah but yeah good news guys at least at least we've got it running so that's uh, that's fantastic i'm 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 happy with that i'm chuffed so so there we go I'll tell you what, that's going to be it for today's video, guys, because uh, I'm, I'm running out of time again. It just, the time just, just goes like when you're doing bits and pieces, it just flies. So, yeah, really appreciate all the support, guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the, on the channel. Drop me a comment if you've got anything to say. And, um, yeah, have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you on Monday, where we're probably going to be working on this Fiesta on Monday. And the reason for that is because I'm still waiting for that cooler, oil cooler to turn up. So once that turns up, we can put that in. And then I've got the, the front end, crash bar and all that sort of stuff. So I'm kind of waiting for parts now. So we'll jump on this one on, on Monday and we'll start working on that. But for now, guys, really appreciate all the support. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on the next one.